So I wake up the other morning, and this ain't a so the other day video, even though it was about the other day. And I see my phone, my wife is like, give me a call as soon as you wake up. And I just text her, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like oh, what does she want? I'm just, I'm, I'm laying in bed being lazy about getting out of bed. And I just text her, I go, I'm up now. So she calls me back right away. She says, well, prepare yourself because someone just crashed into your car in front of the house while you were sleeping. And I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Like what happens? Like they, they hit you head on from the front. Now, certain details about this I'm going to be cryptic with because I don't want to slander the person or organization in which the person is employed with in our town that they drive the streets of every single day. Um, there's an ongoing investigation. The police are involved and all that shit. So I, you know, I don't want to make the title of this video, fuck the blank or... Fuck the blankety blank or fuck the mother effing blankety blank and shove their blankety blank up their blank. I don't want to make anything that. So just, just, just bear with me if I leave details a little thin here. So I'm at the second story of my house where all the bedrooms are and I look out and I see my car. I'm like, I'm like it doesn't look like anything's that bad. And then I go out. The front driver's side and specifically the front quarter end of the car. It's just completely destroyed. In fact, I'll put a, I'll make the the, the thumbnail f picture for this, the close up of the destruction of my car. And I'm like, oh my fucking god, how on earth did this happen? So, my car is parked on the street, and from now. I know how far it was because when the police measured it out, they went to the stop sign where my car was parked, or in front of where my car was parked, and measured it to where my car was parked, and it was 40 feet. So, this person who <laughs> works the streets of my town <laughs> on a daily basis came flying around for no apparent good reason, turning onto my road. And granted, when they're, they, were, they were making a right turn onto my road, so you would naturally stay to the right side of traffic. My car was to their left. Turn, they have 40 feet to not hit my car, and instead just came, bam, straight on and destroyed my car. My car... I purchased brand new, not even six months ago. It has 7,000 miles on it. <laughs> and, you know, there's things like when you, you talk to an insurance company, you're like, you know, do you want something like gap insurance? I'm like, I'm like, no, because I don't, you know, I don't wreck cars. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to need insurance like that. I put over $10,000 cash as a down payment on this car because, you know, I got money to spare. So I'm like, yeah, y'all you know, throw at least 10 G's down on it. Make my monthly payment a lot less. Sure. So here's the thing. Now, obviously, insurance is going to be taking care of this. This, you know, isn't my fault. My car is parked in front of my house. Some dickhead who... Uh, Again, I don't want to get into verbal defamation or anything like that with an ongoing investigation, so I'm not going to go there. Some guy loses control somehow of their car on a street that they've drove down many times or been through the neighborhood many times and who should know better than to go flying around into a residential neighborhood where families have children and I told my neighbor about this, and he wasn't too thrilled. Um, who should know better and crashes into my brand new car. A car that's not even six months old. Now, the damage and what you see in the, in the picture I put in the, the thumbnail for this video, the damage is pretty much to the whole side area of the car, goes on up past the the driver's side door, and I don't I won't include too many pictures because, like I said, with an ongoing investigation, I don't I don't know what I should or shouldn't be shown. But anyway, 
uh, the car got smashed up against the curb. Both tires got smashed up on the other side of my car. That didn't get the side that didn't get hit got shoved into the curb. I look underneath the car. The <laughs> The drive rod, whatever you want to call it, where the, the CV boot is connected up to the front end of the car. It's a front-wheel drive car. It got completely snapped. So from the impact, it just it snapped the drive shaft into the one front tire. One tire, if you look at the front of the car, one tire is like this. The other tire is like this. So it's like a good 35, 40 degrees off alignment from the other side. Um, the airbags didn't deploy. I had that going for me. But now, here's where things get to the, I'm potentially going to get fucked over in this for doing absolutely nothing wrong. If this car gets junked out, which means the damage of the car is beyond the value of the car, I will be screwed. Because of the amount of money that I put down on the car... And the amount that is left remaining to pay off for the car. When a car gets junked out, they give you blue book value of the car. Now, they will raise that a bit if you did, you know, put money down the car. But you will not get all of that money back. So, hypothetically, Monday morning, the guy's coming out to for my insurance company to assess the exact damage amount or anything. Uh, and, and everything. Because they said, you know, could, were you able to drive it to somewhere to, you know, gave me an address of where to go, you know, bring it here. And I'm, I'm like, no, it's it's undrivable. The drive shaft is snapped. And on top of that, the tires are pointing in two different directions in the front of the car. This son of a bitch ain't moving from this from the front of my house. So they're coming in Monday morning. Um, I'm also getting the police report Monday morning. Um, if this car is junked out and the, the, the damage is beyond the cost of the car and they have to give me blue book value plus a little bit uh, based on the cash I paid out, I will lose thousands of dollars because, well, I will, one, I will want another new car and preferably I would want that same car. I feel I'm at least entitled to have the same car after something happened that wasn't my fault. And I understand accidents happen and I'm not crying like this is the worst thing in the world that happened. I'm safe. My wife's safe. New dog is safe. In fact, he's sleeping on the windowsill right here next to me. Um, if this car gets junked out, you know, I'm going to get blue book value, which is, you know, a little bit above what the remaining loan amount is at this point because your car devalues the second you take it out of the lot. Um, and it's got over 7,000 miles on it as of right now. So... I could stand to lose if I hypothetically, this car gets junked out, I then say, okay, well, I want to get the same car again. In order for me to put another 10 grand down on the car, get the same new car, I would be out around $4,500. $4,500 for someone who has an occupation traveling the streets of the city in which I live in and flagrantly drove into my neighborhood and crashed into my car head on. I could be out $4,500 for doing nothing wrong. Now, it's just money and it's not the end of the world if I were to lose this. But still, it's the principle of why should I lose a dime, let alone $4,500, like a literal dime, 10 cents. Why should I lose even that? And again, with an ongoing investigation, stuff like that, and court not being ruled out, like, I'm not the type of person that wants to sue someone. Because honestly, you know, I, you know, people may say like, oh, you're, you're dumb for saying this, but I, I don't want that guy to lose his job because he was on his job doing this. And I figured if I did escalate things to court, that, you know, it may put the onus on uh, certain company that employs this guy to end up losing his job and I don't want to do that in fact that's why I'm being cryptic about this I don't even want to mention what uh institution shall we say this guy works for and so like there's there's a number of things like honestly I don't think the damage is going to be beyond the value of the car but it just it puts things into perspective that if it was I'd be screwed I would be screwed. I'd be out of money. So, 
what I'm doing is I'm going to set up a GoFundMe here because I want a new car. I'm just kidding. No. No, the, the funny thing is, is like, is like, you know, if a lot of YouTubers were in this circumstance, they would set up a GoFundMe. And, you know, frankly, I wouldn't blame someone if they did set up a GoFundMe for something like this. And no, don't, no, don't anyone start one on my behalf or anything like that. I'm fine. Um, you know, I'm one of the fortunate people that have money to spare in this world. Again, I'm not trying to brag about it, but I'm just saying, like, this is why it's not that big of a deal. But I want to share this experience with you guys because this is something that could happen to anyone. And, you know, you think, like, if you have something like a new car and it gets smashed up by something that's beyond your control, you figure, you know, everything is just going to be fine where, you know... This circumstance proves that that's, you know, anything but the case. Now, the convenience of me not having my car, whatever, that's negligible. You know, I can, I, you know, I can get a rental car if I want for now. I'm just using my wife's car to get around. But um, if I wanted to get a comparable car to mine uh, from the, the rental agency, I'd have to spend money out of pocket because my insurance company only gives me X amount of dollars per day to put on a car. Now, that's not the person that crashed into me fault that's you know i could have got a higher caliber insurance because you know at the time i'm like i'm like okay yeah that much per day for okay that sounds good whatever but so you know i, I would have to downgrade i know what was me i'd have to downgrade in a in an automobile type to um not pay out of pocket I mean, I could get a higher car, but I'd be paying money out of pocket. But at this point, why why am I paying any money out of pocket for something that wasn't my fault? Like, that's the principle I have here. Um, considering that I could stand to lose, you know, upwards of $4,500 in this ordeal. So, um, not doing the Eagles prediction video this week because, you know, frankly, the team is shit in the bed. But I, I think Cincinnati's going to win the game. It's a tough defense. I, I, I know they got three wins and a tie all year but just going on the road i don't like their chances anyways there there's my eagles prediction i i i think the eagles are going to lose in cincinnati and just end the suffering for this town right now so anyways i just wanted to share the story and anyone if you doubt this is legit and i'm just like you know making this for views or anything you can talk to undertaker freak i was talking to him right after this happened and i sent him the pictures that he can confirm that you know this is what happened um it you know it sucks but at the end of the day i'm safe everyone's safe accidents happen i don't feel the person did this obviously i don't feel they did it on purpose but it's just, it's just interesting anyways the wife is home i'm gonna be done talking now have a good day everyone